What's up guys, it's Eric Jones and this is Metal 5. In this series, up until this point, what we've done is we've taken a very academic approach to the teaching and uh, instruction when it comes to coin magic. We're gonna blow all that out the window this time and we're gonna have a jam session of magic. Well, what I'm gonna do is take a few questions that I've gotten over the years and pair them with pieces of magic that I've created specifically for this project. Some of them only a couple of years old. I'm also gonna teach you one of the most difficult pieces of magic I have ever created. I'm gonna show you ways to cause coins to vanish when you're sitting without a table present. I'm gonna show you how to get coins to vanish. I'm gonna show you how you can make that technique deceptive for your audience so they don't ever suspect it, let alone detect it. And so much, so much more. I really hope you enjoy all of the material that I have for you. Thank you so much again for joining me on Metal 5. This is going to feel and look like trick photography. Don't feel much better. I'm all alone. <laughs> I don't know how you got it. I don't know how we got here. <laughs> So guys, what you're about to see is something that I've worked on for several years, but it is by no means perfect. I've got to give you that information in full disclosure. Um, it'll also give you an idea of how I think about magic when I create. I look for really simple plots that have very direct methods, and nothing is more direct than imagining having a coin at the fingertips and causing that coin to completely vanish with the sleeves rolled up. 